you guys ready for your next comedian to come to the stage? Yeah. All right, so please give a warm welcome to Sandy Beach. Let's see Sandy here. Yeah, we won't be using that because I'm a little short. <laughs> I'm twisted. <laughs> okay, anyway. So you can look at me and you can tell a few things. I'm, uh, I just happen to be gay. Um, but I'm short and fat. Uh, but my biggest problem, the biggest thing that I hate is that I got these huge tits. Like, I've gotten drunk sometimes and been really bored and I actually weighed my boobs one time. <laughs> 12 pounds each. They're like fucking bowling balls. I mean, I wonder and complain why I have this back pain and all that stuff. But like, you know, it's really bad, like, when you go to get up in the morning and you roll out of your bed and your tits hit the floor first. And you wind up doing that rocking horse thing, trying to swing back up. But like, I'm actually kind of trying to look at the positive sides of it. Like, I'm hoping that when I'm 90, that they just sag all the way down so I can start skiing. <laughs> Saving fortune on rentals. <laughs> but you know, that, I mean, but sometimes they just really get in the way and they're a little hindrance. Like, and especially during the summertime, like, it's horrible because I sweat really bad. So I have to put powder under them. But at the end of the day, I have paste. <laughs> But I'm, I'm thinking that I should, like, jar it up and sell it, and I can call it, like, beach stucco. <laughs> what the what? But actually, today, I was, uh, I, like, got freaked out today, because, like, I, I was taking a shower to get ready to come here tonight, and I bent over to shave my legs, and I suddenly got a really, really, really bad pain in my chest, and I started to freak out. I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God, I'm having a hard time. I'm going to die. I'm going to die in the shower. And I opened my eyes and I looked down, and my tit was in the drain. <laughs> Word of advice, all you gotta do is just kick it. It is because it's right right now. <laughs> it's so bad. So I gotta go to a place called Barnyard and Fence to get my bras. <laughs> they promise to keep them in one acre at a time. But, uh, oh my god, they're rough. It's rough. But also, um, seeing as uh, you can tell that I'm gay, um, I actually got married last year. <laughs> You know, and I gotta say, you know, all you people who are against gay marriage, I understand now that <laughs> you weren't trying to just be mean, you were trying to save us. Because I realized I gave up my rights for freedom. I gave up my right to decide what I can wear, when I can eat and sleep and do my hair. <laughs> Oh, but, but marriage is actually kind of interesting. I mean, because everybody, I don't care if you're gay, straight, bisexual, whatever. All relationships are the same. They are. And you all argue. Everybody argues. But you know, what? I, you know, I'm such a guy that I realize I've become man. So when I argue with my wife, I do what you all do. And that is, I talk under my breath. <laughs> We'll say some really mean things to each other and she'll go off one way, I'll go off the other way and I'll be in my room and I'll be like, that bitch. <laughs> oh, she thinks she's smarter than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, like, I'm just telling my asshole that she just got stuck with whatever. But you know what? I'm going to tell her the way it is. It's going to be my way or the highway. That's it. She's going to start to listen to me because you know what? This is my fucking castle. I am king. I am God. She's going to start kissing my ass every goddamn day. That's it. I'm telling her just the way it is. It's me. She's going to love me and she's going to fucking love it, goddamn it. She walks in the room, baby, can I get you anything? Because <laughs> I want to get laid again. <laughs> Not too stupid. But like the best, the, the most interesting part about being married is like, uh, like I'm going to be 43 and I never had kids and she has a daughter. So I suddenly became a parent to a 15 year old. <sighs> okay, so she's 15 and she looks like she's 24. And I'm obsessed with boobs and she's got bang, boomers, big. And she knows that I can't talk to her. I can't look at her. So, well, okay, I can't look at her because she's six feet tall. But, um, but like, she'll, like, come in to, like, talk to me. She's like, hey, bitch, can you do something for me? I'll be like, boobs, I gotta turn around. Can I just text you about this conversation? <laughs> Why don't 
you go to your boyfriend's house? Yeah, that'll that'll work. Um, but like, then, but I mean, she's a great kid. And the biggest biggest change for me is that I had been single for so long, and um, I lost my bathroom. Because my wife and my daughter are both, both very feminine, and I literally, I can't get into my bathroom anymore. I can't. I used to have a room that was mine. If I wanted to take a shit, I could be in there for an hour. It didn't matter. Now I'm lucky if I can get 30 seconds to take a quick piss. I mean, but like, I can't even get in there. I mean, they have so much shit. You feminines have so much shit. I can't imagine. I mean, you've got products for your hair, you've got different types of soap, you've got different types of conditioner. You have stuff for your legs, you have stuff for your crotch, you have stuff for your armpits. Then you got razors, and you got curling irons, and you got your straight irons, and you got your hair. Friggin' everything! Everything! I have three. Three things. I have shampoo, I have hair gel, and deodorant. That's it! What the fuck are you putting in there? My fat ass can't fit in. I want to go in and brush my teeth. It's like... <laughs> so they got it's horrible. Trust me, nuts. But they got those hair clips. Do you use them? Those little fucking hair clips. Yeah. But like, they, my my wife has the little tiny ones. Little, little, they look like little razor teeth, and they're, they're little tiny things. And when she's done with them, she doesn't take them and put them on the shelf or in a bag. No, right on the floor. Right on the floor. Always on the floor. Middle of the night, I get up to take a piss, and all you hear is <laughs> She wakes up out of a dead sleep. Did you just break my hair clip? I'm 250 pounds, of course I broke your fucking hair clip. <laughs> Ridiculous. Drives me insane. Oh. But of course, I mean, she knows she has me wrapped around her finger. She really does. Like, like uh, about a year ago, she wanted a cat. And I was like, no, you, you know, I really, you know, I'm kind of allergic to cats. You know, I really don't want to do that. We wound up with a cat. Six months later, she's like, I want a dog. I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to walk it. I'm going to have to train it. You know, they're a little pain in the ass. Come on. I really don't think we have time for a dog. You know, whatever. We got a dog. <laughs> so pretty much right now, I live with two pussies and a bitch that don't listen to me. <laughs> Oh, it's horrible. But the biggest thing is, my dog is uh, it's a pity mix, and she's adorable, but she's like totally attached to us, and she's obsessed, and she hates when we have adult time. <laughs> it freaks her out completely bad. And like, she whimpers, she whines, she jumps on the bed, she jumps off the bed, she jumps back on the bed, she sticks her face where it really shouldn't be. <laughs> like, as if she had, at least she's gonna teach me something, you know? It's just like, really, come on, you know, I, I've got this, doggy, I got this. But like, it got so bad, or my, she actually faked a leg injury. I swear, I mean, like, she just started howling really bad, and she was like dragging her one leg behind her, whimpering, whimpering. We finally stopped at what we're doing. We get dressed, we turn on the light, and the dog's like, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> at this point, I don't know if my dog is jealous or homophobic. <laughs> That's life. That's life, as I say. Oh my god. Oh, it's really hot up here. Sorry. Flash. <laughs> so you know what I really don't understand about people? Is when people feel a need to tell me that I'm fat. I don't get it. Like, like I didn't know. Like, I just woke up yesterday. <laughs> like, I actually was out at a bar last weekend, and I went outside to smoke a cigarette, and some dude was just like, Yo! You're really fat. I mean, like, really fat. Like, you like hippo. Hippo fat. Then some ground shake when you walk out. I'm like, what? What do you mean I'm fat? I'm not fat. What? Holy Jesus Christ, I'm fat! What the hell is this? Oh, my, is that a, oh that's a fat roll! Oh my God! I'm gonna go kill myself. <laughs> But it's like, but I, I mean, so I actually got freaked out. I mean, I'm like, you know what? I am fat. I should go to the doctor. I need to start taking care of myself. And I went to a physical just uh, actually a couple weeks ago. And my doctor, he measured me for my height because that's part of the thing they do. And he's like, you're four foot 11. I'm like, yes, I'm not a dwarf. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's my time.